Schwing, Hwing, Kling, Ein, Saum, Ing, Hwing, Schwing, Kae, Ila, Ring, Asaka, Halla, Ring, Saka, La, Ring, Sao, Ein, Kling, Ring, Schwing, Aum. Namaste. So, finally, after all these years, <laughs> I downloaded all the videos, all the old videos, and I'm keeping archives of the new videos. So now I have them all on disk. Over a thousand videos, huh? So then the question is, well, how to classify them, how to arrange them? What is an intelligent way to organize them? And so I went back to the system that I developed based on the four stages of consciousness. Here they are once again. <laughs> so we have Jagrat, Swapna, Sushupti, and Turiya, states of consciousness. And the yogas that go along with them, Karma, Bhakti, Raja, and jnana. Then these are correlated with the views, the philosophical views, Dvaitavada, Vishishta Dvaitavada, Vivartavada, and Ajatavada. And then those are mapped to the chakras that support them. So we have a, a two tier organization of the material. The first tier is according to the four states of consciousness. And the second tier is according to the seven chakras. So they, they're divided up two, 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 and one. Huh? The first and second chakra correlate with Dvaita Vada, Karma Yoga, Jagrat Consciousness. The third and fourth chakra correlate with bhakti yoga, vishishta dvaita vada, and svapna consciousness. And the next two, five and six, correlate with vivarta vada, raja yoga, and sushupti consciousness. And finally, the seventh chakra, the uh, sahasrara, stands alone. And it correlates with the Ajatavada, Jnana Yoga, and Turiya. So this is the same system of classification that we used in our course site. If any of you have visited the course site, which is kind of inactive right now, but you can still audit the courses that are there uh, that are accessible to guests. You can do a guest login and uh, look at the courses that are there, especially the introductory level courses. These are very important because they set you up for the rest of the courses. So the videos on each level, introductory, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, raja yoga, and jnana yoga have been put into a classification scheme, and I have published a document that explains the entire thing, including links to the video series that are a part of each category. <laughs> to my knowledge, this has never been done before. It's nothing new that there are four states of consciousness, after all, since the beginning of creation, <laughs> there have been these four states. So, but the, I don't think there has ever been a classification of the topics of the sacred literatures according to these four states. So let's take a look. You can see these are the actual files, the file structure. There's four categories of consciousness, then the seven chakras within them, and then all the video series appropriate to those chakras.
that you can see the document which defines and explains each category and then lists the video series belonging to that category, which are live links. And you can click on them and go directly to the series. So this has been a big thing with me. I mean, this has taken me like a week to do. <laughs> and it's been very much worthwhile because now not only I, but everybody can have the overview of the entire Dharmasar system. And this is crucial because everything that we do, all the material that we generate, especially these days, you know, is based on these four states of consciousness, these four yogas, these four views, so you should get very familiar with that. Of course, I have linked to the document in the video description down below here. So go ahead, download it, and then you'll see the master plan for Dharmasar, the essence of Dharma. Aum Tatsa. Aum Shakti Aum. <laughs>